Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be taking a look at this hiking shoe slash boot by Merrill. See how it's holding up after 10 years of use. And I put the link in the description below for a similar pair of shoes, so if you like what you see, be sure to check that out. So I thought I'd start this video by going back in time, 10 years, a full decade, when I traveled to Nicaragua. This was a brand new pair of Merrill boots that I bought. Uh, if you've never been to Nicaragua, it's a pretty, pretty rough and rugged terrain. So I bought these Merrill boots and absolutely love them. They provided the comfort and the waterproofing that I needed, um, the durability, and uh, the traction. And they've been with me for years now. They've endured gravel, rock, snow, all kinds of different terrain, trails. They're incredibly versatile. Now granted, I haven't used these every day for 10 full years, but I thought we'd take a look at how they're holding up physically after a full decade. Now I'll go ahead and spin these around and you can see there's obvious wear and tear in certain parts. Some of the outer lining is kind of cracking a little bit. Um, but overall, uh, obviously a little dirty, but overall uh, they've held up pretty well, especially notably the, the soles. If you obviously right there where the, where the fabric meets the soles, there's some detachment occurring. And in a minute we're going to put this under water to see if that uh, affects the waterproofing at all of the shoe. Obviously we have some deterioration here, some fraying is occurring on the outside, um, kind of where, wherever it has met fabric or maybe had run-ins with specific, uh, you know, rocks or branches or something. Um, definitely scuffed up. But think about that for a moment. They've had 10 years of use. Any, anytime I went hiking, uh, you know, traveling, uh, these things went with me. Now on this shoe, you can see on the back there's some cracking, particularly happening above the heel there. Oh, and there's some a, a huge level of uh, detachment from the sole that's occurring. If we flip the shoe over, you can see the tread. Look at that tread, a full decade, and it, they look brand new. That's really hard to believe and quite impressive. All right, so I brought these inside. We're going to do a little water testing to see uh, how they hold up, uh, how the waterproofing is held up a full decade later. Uh, particularly, we're going to put some water through the, the separation here and see, see what's going on. All right, so the boot, this, the shoe is completely dry at this point. Uh, so I'm going to turn on the faucet and get some water going. And we will allow water to enter through that separation, that gap that was occurring between the sole and the fabric. All right, so the water is off. And let's take a look inside here. And that is completely dry. So that's really great news. We could categorize that separation occurring as a cosmetic defect. But hey, again, 10 years later, right? So that was the right shoe. Let's take a look at the left shoe, and we'll, we'll do the same test. Uh, if you remember from the earlier part of the video, the, oops, there's a little water that splashed in there. Earlier part of the video, there was some separation occurring um, between the heel and the fabric. So we'll go ahead and get that nice and wet and see um, if any water is, is coming in. And we're going to step it up a notch, too. And um, we're going to get not only the back part of the of the boot wet, the heel area, but the toe and the side, the lateral parts of the shoe, we're going to get those wet as well, kind of simulating, you know, puddles or, obviously this is not a completely waterproof boot, if you submerge the whole thing, water will come in, so, but, but you know, like, um, snowfall, rainfall, puddles, things like that, that you'd probably normally be going through, we'll see how the interior holds up 10 years later. All right, and the big reveal, grab my flashlight, and okay, you can see a little bit of water that has dripped through uh, toward the top of the toe there, and a little bit on the heel. And I'm not sure if that heel water is from that accidental spill that I had, or if it indeed, it looks like a spill. I don't think anything infiltrated there. It looks like more of a splash. And there you have it. After a full decade of use, uh, this is a seriously durable boot. Uh, it still maintains most of its w waterproofing qualities. It's got great tread life. 
uh, super comfortable and uh, I'm definitely going to go out and buy myself a new pair of these. Now remember this particular pair of hiking boots is um, a decade or so old so uh, if you'd like to buy the new or the updated ones I'll put a link in the description below. Be sure to check that out. Thank you so much for your time and I hope this video has been helpful.